it's time to rid yourself of your current presuppositions. I also think of that, it's a Deadwood issue, you know, one of the things you see with motifs like the, 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 the phoenix, remember when Harry Potter goes off to fight, he's like St. George, he goes off to fight the, the hell is that thing, the basilisk that turns you to stone when you look at it. It's a dragon for all intents and purposes. It's guarding a, vir a virgin. Vir what's her name? Vir it's not Virginia. It's close to that, though. Gin Ginevra, right, which is a variant of virgin and variant of vir Virginia. Well, when he gets bitten by the, by the dragon and, 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 and poisoned, that's the dragon of chaos, right? The thing that turns you to stone when you look at it. When he gets bitten by it, then he's going to die. And yeah, well, if you get bitten by the thing that turns you to stone when you look at it, if it bites you, man, if you're not dead, you're going to wish you are. It's one of the two. And then the phoenix flies in and cries tears into the wound, and that heals him. And the phoenix is the thing that allows the dead wood to burn off occasionally, let's say. Well, it's, I think it's once every hundred years with a phoenix, and of course it's pretty dramatic. The whole damn bird has to go up in flames, and then there's nothing left but an egg. But there's a very serious message there, too, which is that, you know, you can compare yourself in some sense to a, a forest fire, to a forest, you know, and a forest has to burn now and then for the dead wood to clear so that the forest can actually maintain its continued existence. And if you stop the forest from burning for a prolonged period of time, which happened in the United States, when they were trying to manage the forest fires too tightly, then all that happens is the deadwood accumulates and accumulates and accumulates and accumulates and accumulates until the whole damn forest is deadwood, and then lightning hits it and it burns so hot that it burns the topsoil off. And then there's nothing left, nothing grows. And so that's a good moral lesson, which is don't wait too long to let the damn deadwood burn off, you know? Maybe a little self-immolation on a daily basis might be preferable to burning yourself all the way down to the bedrock, you know, once every 20 years or so, because maybe there won't be anything left of you when you do that. And, you know, that happens to people all the time. I, I've seen that happen to people many, many times. The deadwood accumulates, the mess around them gathers, the chaos that they haven't dealt with accumulates, and then one day the spark comes and they burn so far and so fast that there's not enough left of them to recover. And then they're the people who've been eaten by the beast. They're the people who've been eaten by the dragon and now are inside its belly, another very common archetypal motif. And while maybe a hero will come along and rescue them, or maybe they'll just stay in there forever. And that's a precursor to the idea of hell. And it's not something I would recommend. So a little medicine on a regular basis is a lot better to, than total immolation um, on terms other than your own sporadically 